Oh no, guys. Have we fucked up? Have we fucked up? So, on the forums earlier, some dude attacked me and Pride and basically said that we were lying and that we're full of crap and they've stated quite clearly that it is impossible to get 10,000 health recovery in peace. So therefore, we're lying in this build and there hasn't been anything possible since 2016 to be able to do this. He bet me $100 to prove him wrong and guys, I love a challenge. So, that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna try and prove him wrong. I would be pretty damn confident and not sweating if we could use the build that we showed in that video. But we can't because that build isn't going public. So that does limit us and it does make me concerned if we can hit that 10K number. I know we can get close. I'm not worried about getting close, but to win this bet, we need to get 10,140, I think he said, health recovery. And uh, I'm a bit worried about that. All right, boys and girls, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and prepared some gear. I have no idea if this is going to work. So we're going to... <sighs> this... Stressing, boys. Stressing out. All right, so we're going to chuck on some Elysian, some Beekeeper. Pretty straightforward. So, if this does it, then I'm going to be severely surprised because of how impossible this veteran of eight years or six years or however long he's been playing this game. This veteran and six, I think he said six years of theory crafting inside ESO. So, he's got six years of knowledge behind him, um, lots of theory crafting. So, if he says it's impossible, surely. I won't be able to achieve it with two of the most common sets. So, I, I'm worried. I'm worried. So, all right, let's chuck some uh, that on. So, we've got some Cephas. Now, we will... Oh, shit. I, yep, no, nah, that's good. All right, let's grab the Steed Mundus. There we are. All right. So... Let's go get some ultimate so we can turn into werewolf. Alright boys, alright. This is going to be uh, the a moment of truth. Can we hit 10,100 CP with a build that I threw together in literally 20 seconds? All right, here we go. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Um, <clears throat> rep. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. Okay, okay, fail. We 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 failed, chat. Looks like I'm going to have to give up everything. I'm going to have to give this dude a hundred dollars and, you know, just... I, I've been exposed. I've been exposed. Only joking. I have got to equip a sword. <laughs> alright, take two. Let's, let's do that again, alright, boys? Let's do that again. Alright, take two. Let's go. Here we go. Werewolf. How? And our stats is... Woo! 10,200! Let's fucking go! Literally, what is that? Like, 80 more health recovery than what he said? That is fucking funny as shit. So, for shits and giggles, boys and girls, for shits and giggles, let's just have a look at our CP. So, literally, yes, we got sustained by suffering, but we're not getting a negative effect from it. So, let's just... Let's just for shits and giggles throw on the uh this bad boy that gives us ultimate. Uh go out here, let's get out of werewolf. Woo! I was fucking worried there, man. I was worried. So let's let's do this. And then we will do that and that. Have a look see. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand health recovery, boys and girls. So, that is without a lot of CP stuff, we could 
probably easily buff this by another couple K. Now, running some other gear sets that I can't talk about, um, yeah, we, we can get higher than this. But that brings me into what I really want to discuss. And we're going to jump back up to standing up, Johnny, and we're going to discuss something. All right, I was editing this, realized I rambled on a lot, so I'm going to try and get this out as quickly as I can. The main point I want you to take away from this is have an open mind. Don't be like this guy in the forums and think that my six years of theory crafting knowledge means I know everything and that someone couldn't be possibly correct because I think they're wrong. I have a lot of knowledge in this game, but I will happily admit that I do not know everything. And if I seen something like this, yes, I would be like, hmm, okay, that's weird. Okay, I wonder how they're achieving that. And I'd ask questions. If they didn't give me questions, I would start testing things, that kind of stuff. I see this a lot in game. People are very quick to call good players. And if you are one of these people that do this, please hopefully after watching this, you can acknowledge to yourself and maybe treat it a little bit differently next time. They're very quick to call good players cheaters or hackers or tower humpers or, you know, whatever it may be, whatever excuse they come up with at the time to why they can't kill them or why they're a waste of time or whatever. Instead of doing that, ask questions, you know, message the people, get in my stream for an example which will be linked in the description. You know, ask questions. Go, I seen this dude doing this. It doesn't make any sense to me. Do, do you know how they're doing it or what are they doing? If you ask these questions, you will become a better player. Eventually, you'll get to the point where you'll see these other people and you'll understand what they're doing and you can replicate that yourself. Don't have a closed mind and basically just don't stop learning. Like, don't stop learning. MMOs are fun and that's personally for me, the funnest part of it is kind of constantly learning. All right, boys and girls, as I said, feel free to jump in my streams and ask me any questions that you may have at any point and check our website out. We've been doing some pretty cool stuff over there, especially for you console people. So I'll have that linked in the description as well. All right, love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.